You may have noticed the evaluation block only has two slots. But what if I want to add 1 plus 2 plus 3? Think of each of these slots as an input. Each input on an evaluation block can take a value, like 1 or 2. But they can also take a whole other evaluation block. So to add 1 plus 2 plus 3, we can drop in an additional block for 2 plus 3. When the computer evaluates your blocks, it starts from the inside out, evaluating each nested block before it moves out to the next level. This brings us to the order of operations. Operations are actions, such as add, subtract, multiply, and divide. If it isn't a number, it probably is an operation. But when you see something like 7 plus 6 times 52 plus 3, which part should you calculate first? Do you start at the left and go to the right, or start at the right and go to the left? This actually matters because calculating the wrong order will get you a wrong answer. So there is a specific order of operations that tells you what to do first and then to do next. We can remember the order with a cool word called PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, divide, addition, and subtraction. So, do things in parentheses first. So, 6 times 5 plus 3 turns into 6 times 8, which equals 48. If we just went left to right and did 6 times 5 and got 30, then added 3, that would equal 33, which is wrong. After we've done parentheses, we move on to exponents. So in this example, we square the 2 first, and then multiply it by 5 to get 20. Next is m and d for multiply and divide. Anywhere in your expression that has a multiply or divide sign needs to be done before addition or subtraction. If there is multiply and divide in the same expression, then just go left to right. So again, PEMDAS stands for P, parentheses first, E, exponents next, then MD, multiplication and division, which is done left to right, and finally AS for addition and subtraction, which is also done left to right. Divide and multiply rank equally and go left to right. Add and subtract rank equally as well and go left to right. You can remember PEMDAS with a few fun phrases like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or pudgy elves may demand a snack, or even please eat mom's delicious apple strudels. Your computer isn't smart enough to understand order of operations, so you need to show it the order that you want your operations to be done in. We can do that by nesting blocks inside of other blocks. Blocks are evaluated from left to right and from the inside out. So if we wanted to program the expression 8 minus 2 times 5 plus 10 divided by 2 plus 1, we can follow PEMDAS to figure out the order we should nest our blocks in. P, there are no parentheses, so let's move on. E, no exponents either. Next, multiplication. M. Okay, so we have some multiplication. Let's make a block for the 2 times 5. D, there's also some division, too. Let's make a block for 10 divided by 2. A, S, we've also got addition and subtraction here. So let's sort it out from left to right. First, we can grab a subtraction block and plug in 8 on the left and our 2 times 5 block on the left. Then, we'll grab an addition block, plug in our whole 8 minus 2 times 5 expression on the left, and another addition block on the right. Then, finally, we can plug in our 10 divided by 2 on the left side, and 1 on the right. 8 minus 2 times 5, plus 10 divided by 2, plus 1. And that's it! The block version of this mathematical expression.